It's time to meet our pet of the week. This morning we are joined by Kelsey McCombs, who's director of the Kenton County Animal Services and a very special someone who is looking for their forever home. Good morning, Kelsey. Who morning. is this you have with us today? So this is Linda, who's Hi, just Linda. about the sweetest puppy. Um, and she is kind of all puppy. She's just a year old. And like you Aww. said, she's looking for her home. So um, she's going to make some family out there very lucky. I mean, she has just been the absolute best. I know we were saying that she's been waiting for her moment here <laughs> yeah. um, and was kind of getting a little bored. But I mean, she's not like all over the place. Yeah. Um, she seems relatively calm for coming just out of puppyhood. What yeah. what home would be best for Linda? So honestly, um, you know, she'd make a lot. She'd be a great fit in a lot of homes. So she loves dogs. She's cat friendly. Mm -hmm. She'd be great with kids. Um, she definitely needs somebody who's going to get some of that energy out because, you know, like you said, she she's getting a little antsy over there from just standing still for yes. a little, you know, a little while waiting. But like somebody who's just going to, you know, play with her or, you know, if you're an active person out walking these days, mm -hmm. it'd be great for Linda. But she is a really sweet dog who would make you know and a you great said family pet. She is good with other animals. She's yeah. comfortable. Yep. So I took her home last night just to get to know her a little bit better. I've got three dogs of my own and a cat. Yeah. She was awesome with them. Um, she didn't have any accidents and she slept through the night. So if you're Aww. looking for a pet who really has some of those base skills so you don't yeah. have as much work to do with a transition, she's a really great dog. She is such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So I mean are you in need of volunteers or fosters? Because yes. I know that obviously you're looking to place the animals, mm -hmm. but you can always use an extra hand too, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Hello, hello. <laughs> I know she, I didn't forget like about you. Him. Yeah. Um, so we can always use volunteers. We can always use fosters. So we have so many opportunities uh, to volunteer. If you're interested in coming, always. walking dogs, socializing some of um, our, you know, more under socialized cats, it's always really helpful. Or even folks just helping us do laundry and do dishes and maintaining yeah. our facility so guests have a, a clean and pleasant experience when they come visit us. And then as far as fostering, um, you know, our most needed uh, fosters are those who can take on really vulnerable pets. So mm -hmm. young kittens, young puppies, those who are just too young to be placed for adoption. Um, and you get all that fun little babies for for a little bit and then they go yeah. on to their forever home and Aww. you get to, uh, you know, see them off. So I mean, because that's a rewarding thing, Absolutely. too, if somebody's interested in fostering, if they're unable to adopt, maybe even just a temporary situation to help yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 so great. I've um, fostered dogs for a very long time and it is just it's so wonderful to see them go off into a really wonderful family and, you know, ideally get to stay in touch and see their life, you know, and successful out, outside of your home. Oh, my gosh. Well, Linda is just a total <laughs> sweetheart. So if somebody is watching right now um, and, and they're interested in adopting her or any of the pets, mm -hmm. do you have any sort of like adoption specials going on? Because I know you do that yeah, sometimes. Yes, we're actually in the middle of one right now. We're doing an election week special, $22 adoptions on any animal. Um, and all of our animals come, you know, with their vaccines, microchip and spayed oh, wow. and neutered. So it's a really great deal um, to get started with a pet at Kenton County Animal Services. And you can see all of our adoptable pets at our website, kentoncounty.org or we do a ton on Facebook, so we're yeah. facebook.com slash County Animal Services. Oh my gosh, she is absolutely adorable. Linda, what do you think? Yeah. I think we might be able to find you all. Oh, like, and now yes. she's like totally like hanging out here. She's she like, could end up being a, uh, a studio dog. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so if someone, you know, maybe isn't able to adopt or mm. foster or even volunteer, but they still want to help out with Kenton yes. County Animal Services, how can they do that? You know, we always say word of mouth is really helpful to us and just get, you know, letting people know that we are out there and we have a lot of great pets. So if you follow us online, you can share our posts. Or, you know, if you've got, if it's the giving season, you've got a little extra to give, think about um, the animals at the shelter yeah. and um, you can either donate supplies or money to Kenton County Animal Services. All right. Well, Kelsey, we appreciate you being here today. And Linda, you have just done great. <laughs> what do you think? Can we get like some more? I mean, she, you were given like all <laughs> kinds of kisses and everything. An absolute sweetheart. So if you're interested in uh, adopting Linda, she is looking for her forever home. And again, where can people go? CantonCounty.org or Facebook.com slash Canton County Animal Services to see all of our amazing pets. All right. Linda and Kelsey, thanks so much. Thank you.